I'm going to go through how to work out your instantaneous bather load and your daily bather load. The instantaneous bather load is how the maximum amount of people you can have in the pool at any one given time. The daily bather load is how many people can you have using the pool over the course of uh, a whole day. So to work out the instantaneous bather load, we need to allow um, for three square meters per person. We need to allow enough surface area space per person on average. So in order to make sure that we're allowing at least three cubic meter, uh, square meters of space, no less than that, we need to work out the surface area of the swimming pool. So the way that you do that is you take your length. Let's imagine that we've got a pool that's 25 meters by 12 meters. Um, just multiply those two together um, and you'll be able to calculate that you've got 300 uh, meters squared of surface area. So 300 square meters divided by three to allow for that three square meters of space per person is going to give us uh, a maximum bather load of 100 people. This is only a guide though, this is a starting point. So there are other factors that you need to take into account. You need to do a risk assessment on things like, are they children or adults? Are they confident swimmers? Um, or are they uh, weaker swimmers? Um, is it a structured session taking place? Or is it a sort of a free swim session? What equipment is around poolside? Uh, what's the visibility like? Um, you know, are there glare issues from the sunlight causing uh, problems with vis visibility? There's all sorts of other factors that would go into it. So it would be quite rare for a swimming pool, even after coming up with a calculation like this, to go ahead and say that they're going to have a maximum bailer load of 100 people. Uh, because of those other factors that I mentioned. Once you've decided on your bather load, that would need to go into be published and recorded in the NOP, the normal operating procedures. So that's instantaneous bathing load. That's how you work that out. What you also need to work out and also record and publish in your normal operating procedures, your NOP, is the daily bathing load to make sure that you're not overloading the pool day to day. Uh, because otherwise you could end up overwhelming the pool plant treatment system and things are going to deteriorate in terms of water quality. So in order to work that out, you take your instantaneous bathing load that we've just worked out, um, which is 100. Um, and the formula for this is it's basically 25% um, percent of 100 to 50% so it just happens to be a nice round figure that um, that we've ended up with. Um, so it's 25 to 50 percent and then you multiply by 12. The 12 is uh, a bit of an arbitrary number. It's basically the, the what is taken to be the average day that a pool would be open. So if you're if you're open for if your days of operation are 16 hours a day, then you can multiply by 16. Um, but let's go with this um, uh, that we've got here at the moment. So um, what have we got now? 25% uh, of 100 is obviously 25. Multiply that by 12 and you've got uh, 300. 50%. Of 100 times by 12 is going to obviously give you 600. So this particular pool with dimensions like this could have between 300 and 600 people using it on a daily basis. Um, and what it would, do, uh, what you'd need to do is 
again use this as a starting point as a guide if you've got an old plant room uh, that's perhaps seen better days um, then it might not be justifiable to push your daily usage up to the 600 re region you might be better off keeping it towards the lower end of that range because obviously with this you do end up with the daily bathing road uh, daily bathing load you do end up with a range rather than a uh, you know just a one, a one figure so it's up to you uh, after risk uh, a risk assessment to decide where in that range it's sensible to set the limit on your daily usage pools that have got uh, a bang up to date plant room uh, and are very confident that it's working well and efficiently um, they're justified in taking the usage up uh, because they know that their plant room uh, is going to be able to cope with it. So that's how you work it out, your daily bathing load and your instantaneous bathing load.